Let's start out with power since we didn't start with that last week. I'm right. going to play a clip as we keep trying to unravel the mystery of what's going to happen in the second half of power. Let's take one specific clip because we have questions about this character because we know she's going to have a big role in what happens. Take a look well, at since you're, since you're talking about unraveling, uh, unraveling I yep. just wanted to mention that Zeke unraveled Professor Megum's Man, dog. stop it. Now, go stop ahead and play it. the clip. Stop it. Stop it, man. <laughs> look, look, look. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want no jokes about Professor Carey and locks and doors. Matter of fact, I don't even want y'all to talk about gushes and waterfalls. No, that's on the band list, too. No locks, no no um keys, no waterfalls, no fire hydrants, none of that. And we'll play the clip right now. I had to tell you something, Miss Washington. Something I never wanted to tell anyone. The night my father was killed, I saw Mr. Sachs at Truth. And you told him you saw him? I did. I thought I could make him help my mother. I think we both know he tried. I have to say Tommy Egan killed my father. Your mother already said that in court. Yes, but she's in a woman's jail. He can't get to her. I'm out here by myself. I'm alone. That makes sense, Tariq. Larry, <laughs> what is Tamika Washington going to do? Now, I love her character. She, I mean, she, she's got some pull around this series, so I don't see them killing her. But if they're not nah. going to kill her, what major role is she going to play in the rest of the season that we're going to see? I think she's going to be worried about Tariq, and she's going to tell Tariq, you can hide out here, and then Tariq's going to smash. Man, stop it. Man, let, no. I'm just saying. Man, stop I think that it. might happen. I no. think it might happen. The way she was looking at him, like, I feel so sorry for you. That makes sense, Tariq. You know she's living in that nice place by herself, so she's got extra bedrooms. And at some point, Tariq's going to be like, I think someone's after me. He's going to come over there saying, can I, can I hide out here for a minute? She's going to say, sure. She's going to give him a little uh, throw pillow and a, and, a, and a blanket. And the next thing you know, she's going to check on him. And then that's where it's all going to go down. Man, why y'all keep trying to give all these women to Tariq? Ain't his plate <laughs> full? His plate is full. His plate is full. You done gave, you done gave him Effie, Diana, <laughs> Lauren, Drew, Professor Carey. His plate is full. He can't handle no more women. I mean, his plate is full. So he, not, I mean, he can't, he doesn't even have time for them. He's too busy training for the Olympics with all that running that he's doing. I'm telling you, you I, need to, I need to see his shoes because I want to get me for a pair. Real. Cause they should have got, they should have had a, a shoe sponsor deal for him on this show. Man, you he must, he must be wearing the same shoes the Flash wear from the Justice League because he stay on skates. And I want to know what shoes he's wearing so I can get me a pair. But no, oh, no, he might be wearing those shoes that A Train wears. He could be. Could be. <laughs> but in all honesty, jokes aside, what do you think Tamika's role is going to be? Um, damn, it's been spilled all over myself. I think, uh, I honestly, I think Tamika is actually going to end up being an ally of sorts with, uh, with Tariq because I think she likes to sort of play things by the book. I don't know if she's going to really. I don't know if she, how much she's going to help him, but I think – well, she will help him, but I think because she likes to play things by the book for the most part, I think she's probably going to end up helping Tariq because she's going to realize she can't take that information and just sit on it. And mm -hmm. so she's probably going to end up going to Saks and telling Saks, like, hey, bro, you need to uh, – you know, you need to recuse yourself from this case. Maybe she goes to the judge and says, "I, you know, as an officer of the court, I feel I'm obligated to to bring this to your attention." Something. Mm -hmm. I feel, I feel like she's gonna do something with it. So who's she gonna double cross? Because she's in a rock and a hard place now. She's. I don't think she's gonna double cross anybody. I think she's gonna tell. I think she'll tell Sack straight up. I can't. Hmm. I have to do something with this info I, because he knows that she's legit. I think that's part of the reason why he deals with her is because he knows she's legit. Well, e either way, either way, someone in this situation, Larry, is going to get hurt because she, and let's just say she stays with her integrity. Mm -hmm. Davis McClain is pulling her one way. Tariq is trying to pull her one way. And Cooper Sachs is trying to pull her in a different direction. But now Cooper Sachs and Davis McClain is trying to team up to pin it on Tariq. And with Tamika knowing what she knows about Tariq, it looks like it could be 
her and Tariq teaming up to be against Sachs and Davis McClain, but she just doesn't know that yet. I mean, that's all possible. That's all possible. I think I think she's going to be fine, though. I think she's going to end up telling – she's going to end up giving up the ghost about what – no, she's not going to give up the ghost. She's going she's gonna to tell – she's going to tell what Tariq told her. Mm-hmm. And as a consequence, Sachs is going to suffer, but he's still going to come out on top. And, or at least he'll still be in the game. But I think at, at the end of all of this, I think what's going to happen is, is that um, I think that Stearns is going to end up really helping Tariq somehow. I think what? that's what it's going to – I think that what's what's going to happen. Because Stearns wanted Ghost and couldn't – but he couldn't control him because Ghost was too smart at the time. He was too – he was he had been in the game too long. He was too smart. Mm-hmm. I think right now Tariq is young enough and inexperienced enough. Even though he's smart, he's still young enough and inexperienced enough. I think Sachs can control him if he wanted to. Hmm. And so I think I think Sachs is going to come in at the last minute, end up helping him out, probably help get Tasha out of jail, and then he's going to end up putting Tariq to work for him. You think? Nah, they're not. They're never going to let Tariq be working for Cooper Sachs. No way. No, mm-hmm. not Sachs. Stearns. Not oh, Sachs. Sachs. Okay. Stearns. Stern. Okay. Yeah, and, and we know, and we do know that Stearns has a history of being dirty. Like most of right. those super richy billionaire dudes, they 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 crack some eggs. Can we on, we can honestly say they crack eggs, Larry? They, right. They, and with him being <laughs> an egg cracker, um, <laughs> it, it, you know who else is an egg cracker? Who's that? Zeke. He was cracking those eggs left and right. Man, come I'm on. I'm just man. saying. Man. <laughs> Does this look like an egg that can be cracked? Absolutely yeah, not. He was cracking her eggs left and no, right. No, no, no. She no. might, she might, she might be pregnant right now. The way he did man, her. Man, stop it! Stop, man. She, might, on, she man. might be pregnant. Here y'all go, man. Here y'all go. If you don't want me to start picking on Ramona, you better leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Ramona yeah. can hang. Ramona can handle. Can, can, I don't have to worry about Ramona. Ramona can can hold her ground. So I think Ramona might be from Florida, from a stand your ground state. She can stand her ground. Hey, well, you know what? I've heard they got earthquakes in places like that nowadays, so the ground will shake. She can stand <laughs> all she wants to, but she might get a little shaken. Here's another wild card, I think. He's proven to Tariq that he's tough. He's proven yeah. to Tariq he's down for the cause. Are we really to believe, my boy Larry, that him and Tariq are really and truly the new Ghost and Tommy? I think so. And I think the interesting thing is, is that they're sort of like an upgraded ghost in Tommy because they are, um, I mean, Tariq, obviously people who know Tariq is coming from a family that has had some issues publicly, but Mm -hmm. he's basically a rich kid. He's a rich, privileged kid. He just happens to be black, but he grew up with money, living in a penthouse with a dad who was a, you know, who was an entrepreneur and they went to, you know, he and his sisters, they went to private schools their whole lives and his buddy, is the same thing. His family owns so much money that when someone that when his brother gets in a fight with the cops, he just rolls up and says, "Sorry, you know our names on this building, that building. You really don't want to go there with us." And they're like, "Oh, sorry, we didn't make that mistake." So they're both a bunch of rich kids, and so I think that because Tariq is getting really well versed with the game, that people just won't see them coming. Especially right. they won't see uh, Braden coming because, I mean, he's just going to look like a little dopey white kid that's a rich kid that's – well, they're not going to see him coming from a mile away, mm-hmm. you know? I, think I mean, could you what... imagine if if if, if, if uh, Braden actually became a hitter? Braden could just walk up on anybody in the hood. No one's going to think twice about that little dopey dude with his – with his you know, with his uh, – his, his, uh, his uh, J. Crew vest on and his little shirt. and He could walk up on anybody and just smoke them. You know, I think that the dynamic they've created with him hooking up with someone who has white privilege is it's it's, it's so many things you can do with that storyline, to be honest with yeah. you. And Tariq being smart, they've got they, they're playing Tariq up to eventually be smarter than his daddy. I mean, just look at where they're going with them and look at how they're right. doing their drug business using technology. They're using right. technology, they're pretending like they're tutoring and each grade of tutoring is a different drug and then they right. leveled up their game and now they've got a billionaire's boyfriend as a pawn and not only that but i guarantee you that that billionaire excuse me 
husband, because I think he said right. they was married. That yeah, millionaire so. husband is probably not supposed to be kicking up a whole lot of dust because Stearns probably don't want that to be quite as public as he would want it to be. So Tariq is right. in bed with all these characters who are cornbread white dudes who are using technology to utilize their dirty, underhanded deeds. And Braden seems to be complicit in being self-servient to Tariq. But the issue is going to be the husband of Stearns. He's going to be a problem. And I do feel like at some point in time, Larry, he's going to have to die. I agree. I think he's going to have to go. And and we might see, we might see Stearns, we might, we might see his vicious side because you don't get to be that rich and that powerful without getting your hands dirty at some point, not unless you inherited your money, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. from my understanding, this dude worked for his money. And so I could see, I could see how it Stearns at that point when when maybe it starts something starts to come out about this company and this app where he basically tells dude look you went behind my back and did this and and maybe the and maybe the his husband overplays his hand and Howard Stearns takes him out you know so, I mean not Howard so what's what's the dude's name uh Stearns husband yeah Stern but I forgot his first name whatever his first name is Oh, we won't. We no. won't even worry about it. Simon. Yeah. His name is Simon. Simon, right? I keep yeah, calling him Howard. Simon Stearns. I think. Uh, I think Simon. We might actually see his vicious side, his gangster side, that we kind of get a glimpse of every now and then, but we don't ever really see it. We might actually see it if he takes his husband out. And it might be something simple like drowning him in a bathtub, or you know, giving him, poisoning him with some drugs or something. You know, but. I don't think it would be something quite as brutal as, as stabbing them or shooting them, but you know, okay, we might so find the stars take them out. Nita, the diva, love the name by the way. Says yeah, they, they are playing Tariq up way too much. Um, it's his show, kind of, <laughs> but I mean, I feel what she's saying though. I feel it feels like they took Tariq and just pressed the gas with him. But I don't think they had a choice if they want us to be invested in Tariq emotionally. Because when the yeah. show started, we all hated his ass. We and yeah. that was there was a ton of people who said they wasn't even gonna watch the show if Ghost wasn't in it. And here we are, five, five episodes in, and the ratings for this show are better than Power Season Six. Five yeah. episodes in. So obviously, people are watching it, and I don't think they had a choice about rushing Tariq's character because if not. Who are we supposed to be invested in? Monet, Drew, no, Tasha, no, you know? Nah. So um, they had to do it that way. And and uh, she made another great comment. She said, "What if they take out um, Stearns' boyfriend, husband, excuse me, who's going to wire the money? I think they can easily write any other, anybody else to come in and do the money wire, I think, personally. It's, it's, yeah, they, can, they can figure something out. Yeah, they can figure that part out pretty quick. They can quick. figure out some. They can have I, think the, I think the real, I think part of their issue is going to be is right now is that they're making money, but a lot of that money that they're making, I don't know what, I don't know what Braden's doing with his money because mm -hmm. it seems, I mean, it seems to me like Tariq's using all his ends to pay for his mom's defense. So I don't know what Braden's doing with his cut, mm -hmm. but it seems to me like a big problem is going to be once their business continues to grow, like it's growing, what are they going to do with all that money? I mean, there's, they figured out a way to wash the money, but it's still going to, I mean, at some point people are still going to wonder like, how'd you get all this money? So where did it all come that, from? That Here's one that they could do because Tariq is in bed with Brayden, who is rich and his parents um, have buildings on campus. That most likely means they have an endowment. And if they have an endowment, they probably got a nonprofit. You could literally wash your money through those, through either the endowment or the nonprofit, but somehow or another Braden would have to get control of that. And that in itself could be a whole nother story, getting the family entangled in something they don't want to be entangled in because they give Braden control of either the endowment or the nonprofit. Right. Well, yeah. it'll be into Braden since Braden is at the strip club spending his money. Yeah, he might be spending his money and buying, uh, you know, and hanging out with that little, uh, what's her, the little purple troll doll that he hangs out with, you know. <laughs> Talking about Sax's so, niece. Yeah, Sax's niece, Uncle Nancy, Uncle Nancy's niece. So, 
Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, Boy. it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I think that I think that uh, they have a lot of they have a lot of room and a lot of story that they can work with here. I mean, I, I admit when when I wasn't thinking that they had much room to you know to really play with, but you know, what's her name was saying that Tariq was her favorite character. I guess I just didn't see the vision. Apparently, she had it and saw it and is making it work because I was like. Because I remember I said I was one of those people. I was like, this is the least interesting character. This is the last character. I shouldn't say the least interesting, but he was the last character that I wanted to see mm-hmm. with his own show. Right. Like, I would have been happy if Tasha had her joint, Tommy's joint. The uh, I was hoping they would have kept Ghost alive and did, like, a political version of him up in, you know, in Albany. But they're making this work. This is a good show, no doubt. I mean, I have to I have to just go ahead and uh, – and, and, uh, what do you call it when you make a mistake and you have to say it? Not apologize, but whatever. I just have to. You gonna you gonna recant your statement? I'll recant my statement. There yeah. you go. I'll just recant my statement. The show's good. It's solid. I was wrong. They made it. They made the show right. Or you could say so, it like this: It's a good show, but it ain't better than Lovecraft Country. No, no. <laughs> I'm 